welcome. What should be, people be doing right now to prepare for the weeks and the months ahead with all these rises? Well, look, the most important thing to do when it comes to your finance is actually spend time on it. Um, mm -hmm. Pretty much most things you spend money on, you always need to ask yourself the question, can I do it cheaper, can I do it better? And with very many things, whether it's your broadband or your train fares or your mortgage or your savings uh, or your credit cards, there are often routes to substantially cutting costs. Many people can save hundreds of pounds a year. Now, of course, that will help. For those who've already done all of those measures and are on a budget, the, the perfect storm that you have described of all those different cuts and rises coming in at exactly the wrong moment is going to be very, very difficult. Mm. And what's happening with energy at the moment really it is absolutely unprecedented and catastrophic. This morning, we saw the last fixed rate that was cheaper than the new price cap, not the current one, the new price cap on the 1st of October be pulled from the market. So people now have a choice of going on to the price cap, which I've always previously said isn't a good price. It might be a fair price, but it's never been a good price. Going on to the price cap or fixing for surety, but fixing at a higher rate than the price cap, that's unprecedented. And what the government aren't saying is this price cap only lasts for six months. And on the 1st of April 2022, we'll get a new price cap. And that is designed based on average wholesale prices between the start of August to January 2022. So we're already a third of the way through that assessment period. And on current run rates, the new price cap next April will be up nearly £200 again. And it would be virtually unprecedented. Prices would have to drop so much between now and the end of January for it not to rise at all. I mean, I pretty much say it is going to rise and it's going to rise substantially. Martin, so people really, really need really to be thinking about their energy bills right now. It's a prospect for people, isn't it? So if you're in a situation where you, you're choosing between heating or eating and we're heating, you know, as the, as the months get colder, what can you do? We've, we've got about 30 seconds left. I know this is really difficult to, 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 to tell people quickly, but what can you do if you are terrified of what the next few months looks like? Well, on energy, speak to your energy company if you're really struggling. They may have funds available to you. Make sure if you're eligible, you claim the warm home discount. Now, that's stuck at £140 a year and has been for nine years. They have to raise it in the budget. There are so many vulnerable people who will be making that choice between heating and eating. I'm afraid, in a way, I've done all I can. It's over to the House of Parliament. The MPs have to sort this. Vulnerable people are in danger of really struggling with this perfect storm, and we need to protect them, and politicians have to release money to do so. And that is what they are promising uh, to do. Martin, thank you very much.